Hello. Today I am going to teach you how to do division by skip counting with a number line. So first we start off with a number line. Number line goes from 0 all the way to 20. And we're going to start off with a small equation so I can show you how to do this. So let's do 6 divided by 3. And what we want to find out is we want to find out the answer or the quotient. So this is your dividend. That's the first number. This is your divisor. That's the second number. And this is your quotient, your answer. So what we want to do first is we want to take our dividend, which is number 6. And then we want to circle the number 6 on the number line. Then we take the divisor, which is 3, and we skip count by 3. So I'll go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And what you can see is that it skips twice. Here's skip number 1. Here's skip number 2. And now we know that 6 divided by 3, because you can see there's two 3's, two groups of 3 in this number 6, that equals 2. And another way that I could show this is I could draw a little box here and split it into like that. And now you know that this, this, and this, these two groups of 3, 3 and 3, two groups of 3 equals 6. Or 3 times 2 equals 6. Does that make sense? Okay, let's do another example. I'll use a different color to make it look more interesting. Now, let's do 8 divided by 2. So again, we have our dividend, our divisor, and our quotient, or the answer. So what do we do first? We start with our dividend, and we circle it. Next, we see that we have 2, and so we should skip count by 2. So again, I go in 2's. 2 by 2 by 2 by 2, by 2. Now, I count those. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 skips. So 8 divided by 2 is 1, 2, 3, 4. So our quotient, or our answer, is 4. And something else I could show you here is 8 divided by 2. So I could do one group of 2, one group of 2, one group of 2, one group of 2. So do you see how there's 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You see how they're in groups of 2? 2, 2, 2, 2. And if you count them, there's 1, 2, 3, four groups. So there's four groups of two. Four groups of two equals eight. So if you take eight and you divide them by two, you have four. Let's do another one that's a little bit larger. Now let's try 12 divided by four. So again we have our dividend, our divisor, and our quotient, which is our answer. We start with 12, circle it. Second, we jump by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now we have three skips. One, two, three. So 12 divided by four equals three or 3 times 4 equals 12. Now, let's draw this in groups again. So, one, two, so we've got three groups of 4. 
So one, two, three. So that's another way we can show this. Three groups of four equals 12. It's like if you had friends come over and there was three of you and your mom gave you 12, or there was brownies and she cut it into 12 pieces. How would you divide that? And this is exactly how. You would each get four pieces. So let's do one, let's do a larger number. Let's do 20 divided by five. So let's start with our dividend again. Circle it. Second, we go by fives. And when you skip count by five, you know, five, 10, 15, 20, so, but I'm going backwards, so I go to 15, I go to 10, I go to five, and I go to zero. And how many skips do we have? One, two, three, four skips. And again, we know that our quotient, our answer is four. 20 divided by five equals four. Four times five equals 20. It works both ways. Now let's draw this again. So if I've got four groups of five, one, two, three, four, five, One, two, three, four, five. That's two. That's three. So imagine you have four of you, three friends and yourself, and your mom makes a batch of brownies again, but this time she cuts it into 20 pieces. She cuts them smaller. How do you divide that? You divide it this way. There's four of you, and you get five each. So, let's move on to the last question. Let's do a larger one again. Let's do 18 divided by six. So, again, we start with our dividend of 18. Circle it, then we look at how much we need to skip count by, which is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then back to zero. So we have one, two, three. So our quotient or our answer is three. 18 divided by six equals three or, or six times three equals 18. And if you know your times table, you know that this is right. So, now if you don't have, and it might be hard to see this because it's really shiny, but if you don't have a, a piece of paper like this with a skip count that I'll attach to the assignment, you can use a ruler and you can actually just hold your ruler down and you can skip count with your ruler because it's got all the numbers here. And you can even make a little line and make some dashes if you want to draw it, but you can just use your ruler each time to help you do it. Now, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you three equations and I want you to do them as skip counts. So these three equations will be, let's do um, 10 divided by two. That's question number one. Question number two, let's do 14 divided by two, and let's do number three, let's do um, 16 divided by four. And as a bonus question, let's do twenty 
divided by 5. And these are your questions that I'd like you to do and post them on my blueprint. Or if you're just somebody going on, going on this channel, uh, you can try these at home. So have a wonderful day and good luck with the vision with Skip Camping.